This is probably the third video I made within the past hour and a half. <laughs> but um, anyway, what I want to share is I want to be transparent. Turn this AC or whatever off. I want to be transparent. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I'm feeling good. I don't give a freak. But um, I want to be transparent because one of the things that got me feeling like I don't know my next steps or I don't know how this is going to unfold, I, I, I basically know the outcome of where I'm headed. I, you know, God has let me see afar off what's ahead, but the steps to get that far off, it, it, I'm clueless because for one, I have no partners, no, no one with me on this leap of faith as far basically my leap of faith has been an uh, an investment an investment for my personal life an investment for my legacy uh you know for my generations to come i want to break the poverty uh stronghold on the generations from the past going forward Somebody have to break that poverty mindset of the legacy of the Lightburn family. And I guess God called me to be the one to do it. But regarding being alone and stepping out on faith, my partners are being transparent. My partners are my credit cards. You know... Two, three years ago, I started out on this journey along with my kids. We both, we all, about three of us, we all had credit scores, 400, 500, and we all started at the same level. We're learning together. I'm a parent along with my children. We're learning this journey together. So, Credit scores, 400, 500, starting out with secured credit. Um, and once you graduate from secured credit, now you're getting your first unsecured credit card with maybe a $1,000 credit limit. Now you ask for an increase of that credit card. You get a, uh, a 2000 3000 it got to the point, my credit cards, you know, basically being transparent, I have credit over 150, whatever thousand dollars worth of credit. Those are my partners. I may have 10, I don't know how many credit cards I got. But I know the total of them all basically add up over 150 grand. So if I can't have a physical family member or friend, associate, or whoever to be partners with me, then my credit cards are my partners. So that means... I'm walking in an unfamiliar turf regarding using those credit cards. But I guarantee you, and I know it, they weren't given to me in vain. God has trusted me enough to increase the credit lines of those credit cards to know that I've, I've proven myself faithful to pay it back. But to walk in fear or that's not something that, for one, black people, my kind, we were taught credit 
was not good. But there is a good credit and there is a crazy bad credit. We use credit for the good. We get in credit good debt. There is a good debt and there is a debt that is not going to move us forward. The only debt I choose to get in regarding credit, it's a asset, a credit that will pay credit. A credit that will, when it's all said and done, you have you are on the top. You are on the head and not below. So being transparent, you may not have friends, family, associates in the physical matter, but God may have brought you through the channels of credit. Don't be scared to use the credit. And I guess that's what I'm being transparent on this video about. Right now, I feel like I'm using more credit on food, lodging, and... To, to, to let you know, even the hotel I'm in, I found out they got a shelter on the third floor. Automatically, my body, my mind, my natural being wants to gravitate towards the shelter. So I don't be exhausting my credit on paying for hotel rooms and food. When I tell you every door has been closed. <laughs> when I tell you, it's like God in my face telling me, you leave that for somebody that really, actually, truly needs that. It's like he telling my spirit telling me, you don't need you want that, but you don't need that. So leave that to somebody that they truly need that. So that means I'm steady racking up my credit. <laughs> I'm familiar. Un un it's uncommon. I'm not used to this. But God obviously knows and, I, and, 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 and let me get back to this because one thing I know about my father that has proven from the past to now, I don't care what that bottom line penny, dime, dollar look like, God will down to the penny, you will have exactly the amount that is needed. The amount that whatever before us, you better believe you will have what you need. Down to the penny, down to the second, the, 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 the dime, everything. God is an on time God. God is faithful because he has trained me to trust. Yes, I'm using my credit cards to pay for hotel rooms. My investment I made, it won't be really ready for another two, three weeks. But here I am where I am now. I need feed, food to eat. I need a place to stay for another two, three weeks. Hotel rooms ain't cheap. This food ain't... But I do know from my past of how God has worked in my life, he ain't never a penny too short and he ain't never a second too late. He's an on-time God and he will use what exactly what we need with what's in our hand. So that humbled my pride. I tried to get in a freaking shelter. And God closed that door every step of the way. And, and, and 
I know it ain't nobody but the Most High. I'm in unfamiliar, unknowing new grounds. I can't step back into, I can't go into those turfs of a shelter. Leave that for whoever is at that level and they truly need it. You, Wanda, don't need it. You're walking in another, you're on another level of your faith. Don't look back. Don't go back trying to get help. Don't go back trying to get help. No, stretch our faith. Because believe me, once this level get conquered, or oh, we on another level. That dollar line, I used to think $10,000 was a lot of money for a month. $10,000 a month? That ain't nothing. Maybe to somebody at another level where I was, that was a whole lot of money. $10,000 a month? Man, on the level I'm at now, hey, uh, $10,000, uh, that level, that dollar line done evolved. I'm looking for forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month. We got to grow. We got to grow even with our dollar mindset, even with our faith mindset on things we want to fall back on to give us that that like we got something to lean on, a crutch to fall back on. No, we out here now. We got to be in blind faith, unfamiliar faith, stretching. God is stretching our faith. No, I can't go run to a shelter for my rescue because I'm trying not to uh, stretch that credit line money I owe. No, God is stretching me because those, for one, are my partners. They are my partners. That's who I'm holding on to. I'm going to use my wisdom because I know all debt is not bad debt. You got debt that is an asset and you have debt. That is a liability. Baby, I'm not trying to get in debt regarding liabilities on something that can't pay me. The debt I'm looking for is debt that I look forward to paying me in my legacy in the long run. I'm not getting in debt for... Uh, 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 um, some people may be at that level. So be it. But the only debt I'm trying to get into is debt that is going to pay me in the long run. Debt, good debt that is an asset. Not something I got to pay on forever, forever. And it ain't giving me nothing in return. It's steady losing uh, value. It's decreasing its monetary or value of life and everything else. No, I don't want to go in debt. Owing something that won't pay me back, whether now or in the long run. These are the levels we are being stretched to be more wiser with our money, to be more wiser with our choices of what are we choosing, wiser with the people we're connecting to. Is it going to depreciate or is it going to appreciate? Is it going to be valuable in the long run? Is it good debt or is it a bad debt? We're looking for connections that is an asset. A, 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 uh, in the long term, you see return coming back from your investment. Right now, you may feel one certain way, but in the long run, you be faithful to what God has put in your hands. Stay faithful. You'll find that asset paying you, you and your family and your children and your children's children. That's the, the you know, that's the different levels of where we need to be progressing to. Don't only make immediate choices. Immediate choices that don't give no return, no future plan. It's decreasing its value 
the moment you sign the dotted line and go away away with it, you you you, you it, it, it the value gets lower and lower. It's choices and plan. Is it a good debt or is it a a good asset or is it a good a uh, bad liability? It's all choices that we're making at this time. It's about our choices, people, places, and things that we're connecting to. And we need to be more on the mindset of a long-term thought, not just the immediate. Because everything we're connected to, if we can't see it being an asset for the long run or beneficial, uh, a return, even immediate right now, or in progress of a return, we need to have return on our investments. Not make investments on things that's not doing us any good, other than what it looked like, feel like, or, you know. No, we need to make wiser choices and wiser investments. Investments that make returns whether it's immediate or long term is where you're at where you at at the moment but yeah man i tried to get in the shelter because me signing the dotted line and and, and slapping these credit cards it, it's scary it's so scary but god has proven himself all through my life you will have exactly what you need at exactly what time for what exactly purpose you will have it. So I'm not walking in fear because right now, yes, my credit cards are my partners. And I thank you, Father, for my partners. Have a blessed day.